Hello guys, it's Tuesday Inspiration with Toby. My name is Rua Toby Olarebe. So good to connect with you this Tuesday and I hope that you are having fun. Yes, happy holidays to those of us who are at home and those who are working and I hope you're doing great too. So yes, and those watching me from all over, I'm sure you're getting the best out of life. Yeah, so that takes me to today's topic which is optimal thinking, optimal thinking. Today I'm trying to just see how we could adjust our thoughts a little because you know so many of us follow some patterns and you know yes it, as interesting as it may sound when you follow patterns in maybe your job or whatever you find yourself doing then you become a master of it so some of us we just think that yes I'm already a master of my craft I'm doing amazingly well and you know we just go on and on to just neglect something that I'm going to talk about, just follow me. Yes, now so many of us also, we also have this way of thinking that yes, we probably will not even achieve anything. Nothing we do would make sense to people. Because the first point is always people. We think about what it will do to people, what impact we want to make, which is in, it, in, in, in itself is not, is not a bad idea. Yes, okay, if I'm doing something and not making sense and it's not impacting my world, then why am I doing it? Yes, it's a, lo a whole lot of things to think of. But you see, when you're achieving success and you're not having this mindset of yes, and um, when I get to this point or this point that I've got into, I have to think of how to sustain it. Because see, it's so one thing for you to be a master of your craft and you know you've been there, done that, you've done all that everybody has done, you know, and you are not even living an impactful life, or there are some other areas that you're not even focusing on, you know, that would you know just be very detrimental to you as a person who is also successful. Now, it might be character-wise, it might not be business-related, but it might just be that, okay, there's a way you do to people that is not pleasant because, you know, I'm an advocate of human development. So human development encompasses a whole lot of things. So if you're successful, you have to also be thinking of impact. Am I making sense to my immediate community? Am I making sense to my immediate family? Am I making sense to myself? Because if you're the master of your craft and you're not finding fulfillment, don't get interested. So many people do so many amazing things, but there's no fulfillment deep down because they look for validation from people. They look for, you know, that so sense of, yes, am I doing well? Why some others, like I've also said, will just think that, okay, yes, I mean, I, I can't do this anymore. I can't just, you know, we just, we just go on and on. This is because there's a missing link and that missing link is because you're not thinking optimally. You're not thinking in a way that yes, your thought process is increasing every day. Because if your thought process is not increasing every day, you begin to have some doubts about yourself, who you are a master of your craft or you're not yet the master of your craft, then you just begin to have maybe some downtimes and yes, there'll be downtime obviously, but you know, there will just be times where you just give yourself a big blow and guess you're not going to achieve any more if you're successful already and you that are trying to be successful you see like oh I can't start at this pace I can't start little I can't start small because yes uh, this guy is doing it he did it in two years he made billions so if I do it too I'll make billions life is not casting stones what you should know is that your life is like a few tiny bricks that needs to be put together put together in the sense that if you want to make it habitable it has to be put together now you don't just put bricks together in the normal building um, form you just say okay i want to build my house and you just begin to arrange bricks it won't stay there has to be something which is maybe cement you know that would help you to put this brick and make them you know come together and you know be very strong such that it can be habitable and you know no storm will be able to bring it down so you have to work on your thought process first if you work on your thought process then you will see that things will begin to work out don't forget your life is like a tiny brick that you're putting together yes you now need 
a cement. Yes, as you're thinking of things that you want to do, that optimal thinking, quote unquote, thinking positively every time, thinking in a high level, is what will now help you be the cement between your, your skill, your craft, your character, and what have you. If you take this thing seriously and you begin to review this, I'm sure that there are ways that you've been thinking of yourself less or thinking less of yourself and you know that yes, you've not been finding it funny. It's now time for you to revisit your life. I'm not here to tell you, oh, you're gonna make it if you think about it. Yes, I'm saying that you make things work. If you think about it, fine. But if you don't think about it optimally, and you're not putting in that desired work. And I mean, how do you want to get to that point? There's this quote from Charles Glassman, and he says, before I become an expert on anything, I must first become an expert on me before I become an expert on anything at all. I must first become an expert on me. If you don't become an expert on yourself first, thinking that, yes, you have mastered your craft, but you don't mastered your own personality, then there will be a missing link. So that optimal thinking is what is going to help you to bring you being a master of your craft or learning to be a master of your craft and your character together because those things have to match. Those things have to you know, come together. Yes, we'll have negative attitudes but it can be worked upon. So I want you to today, today, I want you to today think about where you've been going through some things that are not making you think about yourself like somebody who is supposed to have an optimal mentality, an optimal mindset, and just begin to work on yourself. Until we come your way next week, Tuesday, my name is Uluwatopi or Larry, you don't forget to subscribe to all of our social media platforms. I'll see you next week, Tuesday. Bye, guys. Oh,